ஹலோ வெரி குட் மார்னிங் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு ஆதவ நியூஸ் பேப்பர் ஹைலைட்ஸ் டுடே தேர்ஸ்டே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் டிசம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி சிக்ஸ்டீன் திஸ் இஸ் எட்வர்ட் வித் ஹைலைட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டுடேஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் நியூஸ் பேப்பர்ஸ் எஸ் யூஷுவல் வி ஹவ் த்ரீ நியூஸ் பேப்பர்ஸ் ஃபார் த ஹைலைட்ஸ் டெய்லி மிரர் டெய்லி நியூஸ் அண்ட் சில் ஆன் டுடே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லீ லெட்ஸ் ஹவ் அ லுக் ஆன் த டெய்லி மிரர் த மெயின் ஹெட்லைன்ஸ் எஸ் கவர்மெண்ட் மெடிக்கல் சர்வீசஸ் கிரிப்பிள்ட் எக்ஸெப்ட் அட் சில்ட்ரன்ஸ் அண்ட் மெட்டர்னிட்டி ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்ஸ் ஓவர் நைன் ஹண்ட்ரட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்ஸ் அஃபெக்டட் தௌசண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் பேஷண்ட்ஸ் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் strike to end at 8 am today medical services in more than 900 hospitals country wide except the children's and maternity hospitals had grounded to a halt yesterday due to the token strike launched by doctors against certain budgetary decisions the treasurer of the government medical officers association dr nalinda herat said strike was not carried out at the Lady Ridgeway Hospital for Children, De Soisa Maternity Hospital and Castle Street Hospital for Women, National Cancer Institute, Maharagama and Srimavo Bandarnaika Specialist Children's Hospital in Peradeniya. According to the GMO, more than 15,000 government doctors, thousands of dentists and Ayurvedic doctors were involved in the strike which would end at 8 am today. However, he said doctors of the Central Province had informed that they would continue the strike another day and the highlight says sri lanka a strategically important location for us visiting head of the us pacific command admiral harry harris said sri lanka was a strategically important location that matters to his country he said the east west trade route from hormuz to malacca or to the red sea to the south china sea linked the global economy and it would not to be passed through going to sri lanka tna to government you haven't fooled us the government should not think it has fooled the tamil national alliance mp ma sumantharan told parliament yesterday don't think you have fooled us just because we support you on constitutional reforms and vote in favor of the budget he said He said the government should expedite the process of devolving power and honor its promise to the international community. He urged the government to set up an office to probe disappearances. Mangala levels charges against Gotabaya over law residence. Foreign Minister Mangala Samaravira yesterday charged that a house had been rented as the official residence of the Sri Lankan Consul General in Los Angeles in 2013 and a sum of 27.6 million rupees had been spent for it while it was occupied by former defense secretary Gotabaya Rajapaksa's son for more than a year participating in the budget debate in parliament yesterday he said 10000 US dollars had been paid as a deposit for it Minister Samaravira also charged that 2.3 billion rupees had been spent for overseas visiting during the Rajapaksa regime between 2012 and 2014. Tajuddin killing no obstacles to probe phone calls. Court tell police to get details of presidential secretariat and temple trees. Colombo additional magistrate Nishant Pires yesterday informed the CID that there was no obstacle in investigating the phone calls received from the presidential secretariat and temple trees to the Narahanpita OIC on the day that Wasim Tajuddin was found dead. The magistrate directed the prosecution to summon any person attached to the presidential secretariat or temple trees without hesitation if necessary for the inquiry. Damaging house in Kiribatkoda Supreme Court orders Mervin to pay 400,000 rupees. The Supreme Court ordered former Deputy Minister of Highways and Road Development Mervin Silva to pay 400,000 rupees personally as compensation to the petitioner for the demolition and destruction of a parapet wall, two toilets and a washroom in Kiribatgoda that belonged to the petitioner. Our suspects granted bail. The 11 suspects remanded in connection with offences under the Prevention of Terrorism Act by creating an organisation called AWA in association with ex-LTTE members to make resistance to the state were yesterday enlarged on bail by Columbia Additional Magistrate Aruniya Tigale. Secondly, let's move to daily news. Controversy brewing over Duminda Silva's Facebook profiles. Facebook profiles updated even after incarceration. Legal experts say prison authorities should take immediate action. 
controversy is brewing over five Facebook profiles operating in the name of former parliamentarian Dominic Silva, who is currently serving a death sentence for the murder of former MP Bharata Lakshman Premachandra. As persons serving death sentences are not allowed communication with the outside world, the former parliamentarian's Facebook profiles, which have been updated even after his incarceration, have thrown prison authorities into hot water. Speaker lenient on impounding MPs' passports. Speaker Karijaya Surya is of the view that MPs' passports should not be impounded by courts of law if it is not pertaining to serious crimes, Deputy Speaker Tilanga Sumadipala said. He made this announcement in Parliament yesterday in reply to a point of order raised by MEP leader Dinesh Gunawardhana. MP Gunawardhana said the passports of six MPs and several former parliamentarians have been impounded by courts of law even for a minor issue. SLTB to increase fleet to counter private bus strike. The Sri Lanka Transport Board is set to counter strike launched by certain private bus operators by increasing the SLTB fleet to 6,000, SLTB chairman Ramal Sri Vardhana said yesterday. Finally, let's move to Ceylon today. Crippling transport strike tomorrow. Buses, trains, three-wheelers and school vans join in. Transport services are expected to come to a standstill island-wide due to the massive strike planned from midnight today, as more than 15,000 private buses belonging to bus associations across the island together with three-wheel associations and school van associations as well as more than 600 trade unions of the railway have decided to go on a strike. The trade unions decided to commence the 24-hour strike claiming the government did not respond favorably in four of their demands. PM off to Hong Kong today. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe will leave the country for Hong Kong today to participate in the World in 2017 gala dinner organized by The Economist. The Prime Minister is one of the speakers of the event. He will be accompanied by Professor Maitri Vikramasinghe and Sri Lankan Ambassador in China, Dr. Karnasena Kodituaku. Registering Ownership Transfer of Vehicles Deadline extended till 31 December The grace period granted to register ownership transfer of motor vehicles has been extended till 31 December. Mana to Trinco Coastal Lines Bond Cyclonic Storm Likely The Department of Meteorology has warned people living in the coastal areas from Mana to Trinco Mali of rising sea waves up to 3 meters due to a cyclonic storm. With that, let's come to an end of today's paper highlights. We will come with more news tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening to other newspaper highlights.